Miss Angela, we're going to do a congregation. All right, let's all get our handles this evening. Stand and sing page number 242. 242. All right, let's go to the fourth verse. Oh, beautiful for patriot dream that sees beyond the years thine alabaster city's gleam undimmed by human tears. America, America, God shed his grace on thee 
God bless you. Thank you for being with us this evening. I'm going to try to play something for you that Dr. David Gibbs did. If I can get cooperation out of this. Android. I, I got it. His name was Francis Scott Key. He penned a song that I'm sure you're aware of. You've seen it. It's in most hymnals throughout our churches. It's called the National Anthem. It is our song as an American. We go, however, to a ball game. We stand in our church services and we sing the words of that song. And they float over our minds and our lips and we don't even realize what we're singing. Most of us have memorized it as a child, but we've never really thought about what it means. Let me tell you a story. Francis Scott Key was a lawyer in Baltimore. The colonies were engaged in vicious conflict with the mother country, Britain. Because of this conflict and the protractedness of it, they had accumulated prisoners on both sides. The American colonies had prisoners and the British had prisoners. And the American government initiated a move. They went to the British and they said, let us negotiate for the release of these prisoners. They said, we want to send a man out to discuss this with you. They were holding the American prisoners in boats about a thousand yards offshore. And they said, we want to send a man by the name of Francis Scott Key. He will come out and negotiate to see if we can make a mutual exchange. On the appointed day in a rowboat, he went out to this boat and he negotiated with the British officials. And they reached a conclusion that men could be exchanged on a one-for-one -one basis. Francis Scott Key, jubilant with the fact that he'd been successful, went down below in the boats, and what he found was a cargo hold full of humanity, men. And he said, men, I've got news for you tonight. You're free. He said, tonight I have negotiated successfully your return to the colonies. He said, you'll be taken out of this boat, out of this filth, out of your chains. As he went back up on board to arrange for their passage to the shore, the admiral came and he said, we have a slight problem. He said, we will still honor our commitment to release these men, but it'll be merely academic after tonight. It won't matter. And Francis Scott Key said, what do you mean? He said, well, Mr. Key, he said, tonight we have laid an ultimatum upon the colonies. Your people will either capitulate and lay down the colors of that flag that you think so much of, or you see that fort right over there, Fort Henry? He said, we're going to remove it from the face of the earth. He said, how are you going to do that? He said, if you will, scan the horizon of the sea. And as he looked, he could see hundreds of little dots. And he said, that's the entire British war fleet. He said, all of the gunpowder, all of the armament is being called upon to demolish that fort. It will be here within striking distance in a matter of about two and a half hours. He said, the war is over. These men would be free anyway. He said, you can't shell that fort. He said, that's, that's a large fort. He said, it's full of women and children. He says, it's predominantly not a military fort. He said, don't worry about it. They said, we've left them a way out. And he said, what's that? He said, do you see that flag way up on the rampart? He said, we have told them that if they will lower that flag, the shelling will stop immediately. And we'll know that they've surrendered, and you'll now be under British rule. Francis Scott Key went down below and told the men what was about to happen. And they said, how many ships? He said, hundreds. The ships got closer, Francis Scott Key went back up on top and he said, men, I'll shout down to you what's going on as we watch. As twilight began to fall, 
and as the haze hung over the ocean as it does at sunset, suddenly the British war fleet unleashed. Bam! He says the sound was deafening. There were so many guns that there were no reliefs. He said it was absolutely impossible to talk or hear. He said suddenly the sky, although dark, was suddenly lit. And he says from down below, all he could hear the men, the prisoners, saying was, tell us where the flag is. What have they done with the flag? Is the flag still flying over the rampart? Tell us. One hour, two hours, three hours into the shelling, Every time the bomb would explode and it would be close to the flag, they could see the flag in the illuminated red glare of that bomb. And Francis Scott Key would report down to the men below, it's still up. It's not down. The admiral came and he said, your people are insane. He said, what's the matter with them? He said, don't they understand this is an impossible situation? Francis Scott Key said, he remembered what George Washington had said. He said, the thing that sets the American Christian apart from all other people in the world is he will die on his feet before he'll live on his knees. The Admiral said, we have now instructed all of the guns to focus on the rampart to take that flag down. He said, we don't understand something. Our reconnaissance tells us that that flag has been hit directly again and again and again, and yet it's still flying. We don't understand that. But he said, now we're about to bring every gun for the next three hours to bear on that point. Francis Scott Key said the barrage was unmerciful. All that he could hear was the men down below praying. The prayer. God keep that flag flying where we last saw it. Sunrise came. He said there was a heavy mist hanging over the land, but the rampart was tall enough. There stood the flag, completely nondescript, in shreds. The flag pulled itself was at a crazy angle. But the flag was still at the top. Amen. Francis Scott Key went aboard and immediately went into Fort Henry to see what had happened. And what he found had happened was that that flagpole and that flag had suffered repetitious direct hits. And when hit had fallen, but men, fathers, knew what it meant for that flag to be on the ground. Although knowing that all of the British guns were trained on it, walked over and held it up humanly until they died. Their bodies were removed and others took their place. Francis Scott Key said what held that flagpole in place at that unusual angle were patriots' bodies. He penned the song, Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. For the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that the flag was still there. say does that star-spangled banner yet fly and wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. The debt was demanded, the price it was paid. Oh, say can you see by So proudly we hail hey. at the twilight last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the pale fight. So 
Amen. Father, we want to thank you for what you've done for us, what you've given to us. We want to thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Thank you, Lord God, for what you put in the hearts of those men 200 plus years ago. Lord, to seek out a land by faith that we might be free. Father, I thank you for their sacrifices. Thank you for those that stood then and for those that stand now. God, thank you for America. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. As I look down this mountainside, I can see where this road goes. The shepherd is leading me to a place where I can grow. Though it seems to be a trying test, I have no doubt he knows what's best. It just might be a place of perfect rest. This valley is for me. This valley is for me. The waters have been made so sweet. Pleasant rest for my weary feet. This valley is for me. A far cry from the mountain sea, the grass here has been made so green. My shepherd chose this route, so I can say without a doubt, this valley is for me. Standing here beside still waters, I know why I am here today. This place of restoration will strengthen me along the way. Through the valley I can feel His presence here is so, so real. And now I know it was his perfect will. This valley is for me. This valley is for me. The waters have been made so sweet. A pleasant rest for my weary feet. 
This valley is for me. A far cry from the mountain seen. The grass here has been made so green. My shepherd chose this route so I can say without a doubt, this valley is for me. My shepherd chose this route so I can say without a doubt, this valley is for me. Listen to that. Um, my brother actually showed it to me. I think I'd maybe seen that uh, or heard that video before with about um, Francis Scott Key about the um, flag and everything. But you know, I'm ashamed to say that I couldn't have even told you what a rampart was until they said that. I maybe have looked before, but at the very first of the video, how it said that you know we've said it, we've quoted it, we learned it in school. Um, but when you put that story beside it, just picturing the destruction that that flag went, came about or the things that were done to it, but to have that kind of protection. But then those men, you know, it, was, I, it, it automatically started making me think of the things that we're afraid of in life, you know, and we were talking about the spiders and stuff this morning, things that make us scared. And I'm sitting there picturing you know, when you watch these movies and see these with wars and everything, to be facing barrels of guns and not wh knowing where a bomb's going to drop. And just for the men that went up there and stood, knowing that they were probably going to die. And then when it said that once they were dead or got killed, that others took their place. And it made me think of what Christ did for us, that we didn't have to stand there. He stood there for us. Amen. Amen. But I'm thankful. I, I think I know I take for granted our freedom and living in America. But I'd rather live here no matter how crazy our government and everything is right now. I'd rather live here than anywhere else. But that video just really, just hearing that along with it and then listening to the words again of the song and putting that story in your mind with it, it just, it opened up my eyes. And we just last minute sat down and I forgot it was singing night tonight and went back there to pick out. We said, well, we didn't get to practice. We're just going to pick out three songs. And the way they come was the valley is for me. And then the next one, my Lord is taking good care of me. And then we're going to have sweet victory. And that's the order of the songs tonight. I got up this morning, this morning, and I started my day. God's mercy was with me all of the way. His goodness stayed close by to meet all my needs. My Lord is taking good care of me. I'm never forsaken. I'm never Amen. alone. One day I'm moving to my brand new home. I'm blessed beyond measure, just look close, you'll see. My Lord is taking good care of me. I'm counting my blessings as a journey along. Good friends, a family, and a place to call home. The church where I worship, the Bible I read. My Lord is taking good care of me. When Satan comes tempting and he brings up my past, I tell him I'm forgiven and it's buried at last. The blood shed at Calvary now speaks for me. My Lord is taking good care of me. I'm never forsaken, I'm never alone. One day I'm moving to my brand new home. 
I'm blessed beyond measure, just look close, you'll see. My Lord is taking good care of me. I'm never forsaken, I'm never alone. One day I'm moving to my brand new home. I'm blessed beyond measure, just look close, you'll see. My Lord is taking good care of me. I'm blessed beyond measure, just look close, you'll see. My Lord is taking good care of me. I just can't go on My footsteps beneath me seem to falter As I'm fighting this warfare for the right And even though the hills are so rocky And the mountains seem impossible to climb I'm gonna pick up my armor and run on For I know I'll reach me victory in After I've told and I've wrestled for a while How sweet, how sweet is the feeling To know I fought a good fight and run each mile How sweet, how sweet to have the assurance That my father has been watching all the time How sweet, how sweet is the victory that I found every time I stood a trial. So my friend, if it seems you're in a valley and you look but you cannot see the end, don't forget the Lord gave you some weapons that you can use against the enemy and win. So just put your trust alone in Jesus Lift your head up and look toward the hills I know the Lord is going to help you fight this battle And the victory you will gain in the end How sweet, how sweet is the victory After I've told and I've wrestled for a while Smile. How sweet, how sweet to have the assurance that my father has been watching all the time. How sweet, how sweet is the victory that I found every time I've stood a trial. How sweet, how sweet is the victory.
Is there a mountain that I need to climb? Is there a valley you want to make mine? Is there a river I need to cross through? Whatever it takes, I'm willing to face to be close to you. Dear Lord, I believe with all of my heart that the old rugged cross gave me a new start but somehow I've lost the touch of your hand and I'm willing to do and to go through anything you command is there a mountain that I need to climb Is there a valley You want to make mine Is there a river I need to cross through Whatever it takes I'm willing to face To be close to you I want to be in your perfect will If it takes a mountain, if it takes a hill Remove anything that stands in the way Whatever the price to have you in my life Dear Lord, I pray Is there a mountain that I need to climb Is there a valley You want to make mine Is there a river I need to cross through Whatever it takes I'm willing to face To be close to you Whatever it takes I'm willing to face To be close to you I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold I'd rather be His than have riches untold I'd rather have Jesus than houses or lands I'd rather be led by his nail his tag than to be the king of a vast domain or be held in sin's rich way I'd rather have Jesus than world of old today I'd rather have Jesus than men's applause I'd rather be faithful to his dear cause I'd rather have Jesus that worldwide pain I'd rather be true to his 
Just like that last song I just sung, I'd rather have Jesus than anything that this old world affords. Anything. He means the world to me. Once I walked the sinful road, oh, so heavy was the load. Hallelujah, I'm walking on the right road now. He lifted me from the miry clay, placed me on the righteous way. Hallelujah, I'm walking on the right road now. He forgave me, he gave me when he saved me. Place my feet on solid ground. He's my keeper, my keeper. and my guide. my guide. And every day he's walking right by my side. When I need a helping hand, oh, my Savior, I can depend. Hallelujah, I'm walking on the right road now. When I walk this glory road, since the Savior bore my load, hallelujah, I'm walking on the right road now. Soon I'll lay these old burdens down and pick up my robe and crown. Hallelujah, I'm walking on the right road now. He forgave me when he saved me. Place my feet on solid ground. He's my keeper and my guide. And every day he's walking right by my side. When I need a helping hand, oh, my Savior, I can depend. Hallelujah, I'm walking on the right road now. Hallelujah, I'm walking on the right road now. Hallelujah, I'm walking on the right road
could have been on a train wreck there. Huh? I just want to praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, it's in order. This is the best service, uh, Fourth of July service I've ever been in, and you know, and what we just heard. I don't know if I can even sing or not. But, you know, the flag means a lot to me. Amen. And it always has. Even some of these little old tiny things that you buy at the Dollar Tree that you get three in a little pack, I will not let them touch the ground because I respect my flag. Amen. And I, it just breaks my heart to see flags that are just ripped to pieces. And I just praise God that I have that feeling that I know that I'm in the best country in the world. And I just want to praise God for letting me be here. Y'all just pray for me. Um, I my can't even God. see where I'm praying, singing now. But it don't matter when you're home. Here we go. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame and I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain so I'll cherish the old rugged cross Amen. till my trust is at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown on the old rugged cross so despised by the world as a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown to the old rugged cross. I will ever Amen. be true. It's shame and reproach. Then he'll call me someday to my home far away where his glories for ever So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a that last verse I've not always been true to the old rugged cross but you know God was waiting for me when I came back and I thank him for it. amazing grace how sweet the sound that 
had saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that told my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear, the Let's not let this feeling die over the week. Let us bring this back Amen. next Sunday. Amen. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing fire? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood and the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside the garments that are stained with sin and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the blood and the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Some glad morning when this life is old, I fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I fly away 
Just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away to a land where joy will never end. I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away Now when I die Hallelujah by and by I'll fly Because he loved me, my Savior died. On the cross was crucified. No greater love of mortal man has ever been known. Oh, praise his dear name, he loves me so. Now I am his, he's mine, I know. He suffered it all. Because he loved me, my Savior died. On a cross was crucified. No greater love my mortal man has ever been known. Oh, praise his dear name, he loved me so. Now I am his, he's mine, I know. He suffered it all. My Savior died on a cross, was crucified. No greater love a mortal man has ever been known. Oh, praise his dear name, he loved me so. Now I am his, he's mine, I know. He suffered it all because he loved me. 
Oh, praise is their name, he loved me so. Now I am his, he's mine, I know. He suffered it all because he loved me. still heaven is silent as the mighty judge ascends the throne the book of life is open as countless souls began to moan from the throne comes a voice like thunder depart I know you not for the names written in this book are the souls my blood has bought faces turn as in that courtroom comes the very seat of sin he who was a saint's accuser must face the charges against him with the fury of the ages that demon's voice began to cry it's not fair I almost had you on Golgotha I watched you die then old Satan begins to tremble as his faith to him was known from the throne came the verdict the lake of fire will be your home Savior, Lord and King. 
King. Heaven pours resound the anthem. You are our Savior, Lord and King. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy.
this world is bound to change. But I'm glad I know the one who always stays the same. And my song will ever be Amazing God, you're still amazing me Amazing God, you're still amazing me
a broken heart. Raise your hands and say, Lord, you're all I need. You're everything to me, and you'll take the pain away. When it seems you're all alone, praise His name. When you feel you can't go on, just raise your hands and say, Greater is He that is that is within me. He inhabits the praise of his people. That's right. Psalm 22 4. He did. Thank you. Glory to his name. You could take all the pleasures I have to enjoy. I'd still have a peace in my heart. You could take all the things that money could buy. I've got a mansion that time cannot score. But take away Jesus, and I've got nothing to give. 
Take away Jesus And I've got no reason to live Without a heaven Just bury me in the sand But take away Jesus And I'd be a miserable man You could take all the flowers That bloom in the spring I'd still have a rose in my life You could take all the water Out of the ocean I've got a river that never runs dry but take away jesus and i've got nothing to give take away jesus and i've got no reason to live without a heaven just bury me in the sand but take away jesus and I'd be a miserable man Take away Jesus And I've got nothing to give Take away Jesus And I've got no reason to live Without a heaven Just bury me in the sand But take away Jesus and I'd be a miserable man Take away Jesus And I'd be a miserable man Amen. That's what it's all about, loving on him, him loving on us. And uh, I promise if you'll love on him, you'll get, you'll get a little bit in your cup. I guarantee you that. Amen. And uh, if you praise the Lord because the Lord put it on your heart to or because he's worthy, which is always, and I'm not talking about just getting up and doing a bunch of flesh stuff. I'm talking about God's, God's you, you're on purpose going to praise the Lord. God will, God will come by and bless you where you can't help but praise him. And I'm thankful, thankful for the good, good service tonight. God's really blessed us, and uh, he's helped me. I, I've enjoyed what he's doing, and it thrills my soul because I know where we're headed. <laughs> and it's good. Amen. Amen. Don't let the devil throw a kink in it. Just keep serving Jesus. Keep worshiping him. Keep loving on him and each other. Amen. And uh, that's, what, that's what church is for. And, and listen, be careful now. You know, a critical spirit because somebody else ain't doing what you think they should could hurt it. So be careful with that. I know these folks in here has got some burdens they're carrying, and they can't jump too high. So if God fills your cup up and you're able to, then you enjoy that. Amen. And just keep praying for others. Maybe they carry a load that God's got to help them with it, you know. Amen. And uh, you just keep praying. I know. I know folks that's here tonight. I know burdens on a lot of hearts tonight. Amen. But, uh, you know, <laughs> we're going to praise the Lord while we can, do what we can in praising him and have a good time in it. Amen. 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 Y'all sort of, y'all's program didn't work too good tonight, did it? Y'all sort of blowed the program up. So y'all ain't going to make it in no fancy churching. Go ahead, sis. Mind the Lord.
Amen. 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 And elevated you. <laughs> Amen. 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 Precious youngins. Amen. We uh, we have a good time with them. And I like it. We was talking at lunch. I, I, I don't I don't want to be critical by no means of other churches. But I like kids in my service, so we're gonna keep them in there. Amen. Amen. That uh, I, I like it. We've had a few through the years that would do as Noah's doing and uh, throw up a hearty amen and and it, it works out just right. I, I like it. Amen. I appreciate the Lord, and I appreciate the young folks, and uh, that's the life of our church. I'm thankful for the folks that's labor, folks that knows how to labor, folks that's got white hair and wisdom, uh, but I also am thankful for the youngins that's coming on. Amen. And uh, we got to get them trained up and teach them this is what's normal. Amen. Amen. This is the normal way to go to church. And you ought, to, you ought to be able to get your cup filled up and uh, your energy used up while you're at church. Amen? Amen. Works on you a little bit, doesn't it, Brother Robert? I imagine you got a pretty good little rest this afternoon, didn't you? Got that load off of you. Amen. Amen. Anyone else got something on your heart? I surely do not want to uh, close out and hinder you. I mean, we still got plenty of daylight, so you're safe. Go ahead. Amen. God bless you, Brother Scott. No. No. 